There are two ways of conquering, says Ataturk, by the sword or by the plow. To show his phlegmatic peasants what he wants, he buys land, demonstrates the advantages of tractors. Ataturk, son of a civil servant, military careerist, now all-powerful dictator, becomes a model Sunday farmer. The world is anxious to restore good diplomatic relations with Turkey. From the United States comes Ambassador Joseph Clark Grew. For this revolution and high accomplishment, one man is primarily responsible. The name of Ghazi Mustafa Kemal will forever be associated with the development, founding of the Turkish, the new modern Turkish state, and will forever be inscribed indelibly upon the rolls of history. Turk Milleti, top and democratic. The Turkish nation is democratic by nature. Zaten çok yükselmiş bulunan Amerika milletinin. I have no doubt that the American nation, which has gone so far in this ideal, is Turkey's friend in her aims. This will not be all. Perhaps it can lead to a world of love, with all old prejudices erased, with all nations coexisting in peace and prosperity. When the Great World Depression of the 1930s slows down economic reconstruction in the country, Turkish people by the thousands wait for Ataturk to bring him their troubles and their problems. To the man in the street, Ataturk is his personal boss and his personal friend, willing to listen, wanting to help. All over the country, Ataturk preaches the ways of the West, scolds and harries workmen to carry out his forcible plan.